Honorable members, I have to inform the House about the demise of Mother Teresa and ten of our esteemed friends, Sarvasi Chittabashu, NVN Somu, Mahabir Prasad Yadav, P. Ankinedu Prasada Rao, Dharambal Singh Gupta, Satish Agrawal, Pandit Jwala Prasad Jyotishi, Mandali Venkata Krishna Rao, Peter G. Marbanyang, and Hardwari Lal. Mother Teresa was born as Agnes Koksa Pujihu to Albanian parents on 27th August 1910 and Skopje in the then Yugoslavia. At a young age of 12, Agnes was already convinced that she had a vocation to religious life. In complete submission to what she recognized as God's will, at the age of 18, young Agnes sought admission to the congregation of Loreto nuns who were serving in Bengal. She began her novitiate in Darjeeling, where she accepted role as a teacher at Loreto Convent School. It was here on 24th March 1931, she took her first vow and the name Teresa after Saint Teresa of Lisieux. On 24th May 1937, she took her final vow. Mother's life was dramatically changed on 10th of September 1946, the inspiration day when she heard the call of God. In response to this call, she sought permission of the Roman congregation to reside outside convent for the purpose of serving the poor and the needy. On 18th August 1948, mother laid aside her Loreto habit and she donned her ever familiar white sari with a blue border and a cross on the shoulder that had become her everlasting image. In 1948, mother became an Indian citizen. Armed only with her faith and with the power to communicate unlimited love, she began God's work among the poor of Calcutta. She started her mission with Ernest Jill with the opening of a first slum school. She founded Nirmal Ridoy, a place of immaculate herd, where she and her sister missionaries looked after the dying destitutes in their last days. With divine love and compassion, Mother established a network of schools, orphanages, leprosy centers, hospitals, and relief centers. For half a, half a century, she comforted the destitute dying in gutters, sheltered infants adorned abandoned in the trash heaps, suited the uh, putrid ulcers of lepers, and gave soccer to the insane. The world honored her with some of the highest awards for her service to humanity. She became Nobel laureate for the peace, Padma Sri, Bharat Shrestha, Bharat Ratna, and recipient of Jawaharlal Nehru Award, Maxese Award for International Understanding, and Pope John XXIII Peace Prize. Mother Teresa breathed her last at Calcutta on the 5th of September 1997 at the age of 87 years. She stands canonized in the hearts of millions of the world over. Sri Chitta Bosu was a sitting member of Lok Sabha representing Bar Barasat Parliamentary Constituency of West Bengal. Earlier, he was a member of West Bengal Legislative Assembly during 1957 to 62. He was a member of Rajya Sabha during 1966-72 and 1985-89. He was elected to Lok Sabha and was a member of 6th, 7th, 9th and 10th Lok Sabhas during 1977, 84 and 1989-96. Sri Bosu was an ardent follower of Netaji Subhash Sundra Bose. Due to his simple lifestyle, sincerity, keen sense of responsibility, exemplary honesty, integrity, the kind behavior, and love for the people he was endeared to and respected by all. He was honored with the Best Citizen Award for 1996. An active social and political worker, C. Basu was associated with various peasant and trade union organizations 
in different capacities. He took very keen interest in the debates of Parliament and by dint of his hard work turned out to be one of the most successful parliamentarians in the country. He was a member of panel of chairmen of the Lok Sabha and conducted the proceedings of the House with grace and impartiality. He was also a member of various parliamentary committees. A widely travelled person, Sri Bosu was a member of the Indian parliamentary delegation to Bangladesh for negotiation on sharing of water between the two countries. Sri Chitto Bosu passed away at Madhupur, Bihar on 5th October 1997 at the age of 72 years. The demise of Sri Chitto Bosu is a great loss not only to this party, to his party or parliament alone, but to the whole of the nation. CNVN Somu was a sitting member of Lok Sabha, representing Madras North Parliamentary Constituency of Tamil Nadu. He was Union Minister of State in the Ministry of Defence. Earlier, he was a member of Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly during 1980-84. He was also a member of 8 Lok Sabha during 84 to 89. An advocate by profession, Sri Somu was a well-known social and political worker. He was counselor of erstwhile Madras Corporation during 1968 to 73 and also served as deputy mayor of Madras City during 1971-72. A trade unionist, Mr. Somu was the president of Employees Union of the Hindu for several years. A man of letters, he was sub-editor of Dravidian, a Tamil weekly during 1953 to 1966. Sri NVN Somu died at the age of 60 years in a tragic circumstances in a helicopter crash on the 14th of November 1997 near Lungar in Arunachal Pradesh. Sri Mahabir Prasad Yadav was a member of 8th Lok Sabha representing Madhipura parliamentary constituency of Bihar during 1984 to 89. Earlier he was a member of Bihar Legislative Assembly during 1967 to 68. He served his state as a minister for education and labor during 1968. A dedicated political and social worker, he fought against social evils like child marriage and caste system. A well-known educationist, Sri Jadav was the pro-vice chancellor of Patna University during 1983-1984. Sri Mahavir Prasad Jadav passed away on 13th of August 1997 at Madhipura, Bihar, at the age of 70 years. Sri P. Anikendu Prasad Rao was a member of 5th and 6th and 7th Lok Sabha, representing Ongol and Bapatla parliamentary constituencies of Andhra Pradesh during 1971 to 1984. Earlier, he was a member of Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly during 1967 to 671. He was Minister of Commerce in Andhra Pradesh government during 1967 to 1971. Sri Anikendu Prasada Rao served as a Minister of State in the Union Council of Ministers in the Ministry of Tourism and Civil Aviation in 1979. An agriculturist by profession, Sri Prasada Rao was an active and able parliamentarian. He was member of consultative committees for the Ministries of Commerce, External Affairs and Agriculture. He was also a member of Joint Select Committees on Indian Penal Code and Criminal Procedure Code. A widely traveled person, Sri Prasada Rao, was a member of government delegation to inter-parliamentary conference held in Japan in 1974. Sri Prasada Rao passed away on 27th of August 1997 at Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh, at the age of 68 years. Sri Dharampal Singh Gupta, was a member of 9th Lok Sabha, representing Rasnath Gaon Parliamentary Constituency of Madhya Pradesh during 1989 to 1991. Earlier, Sri Gupta was a member of Madhya Pradesh Legislative Assembly during 1967 to 72 and 77 to 1980. He ably served his home state as cabinet minister during 1967 to 1972. An agriculturist by profession, Sri Gupta was a well-known political worker. He participated in the freedom struggle. An active parliamentarian, he was a member of consultative committee 
Ministry of Steel and Mines in 1990. Sri Gupta was a renowned social worker and worked for the promotion of education, particularly amongst girls. He was the chairman of the Dayanand Education Society, Durk. Sri Dharampal Singh Gupta passed away on 4th of September 1997 at Mumbai at the age of 72 years. Sri Satish Agarwal was a member of 6th and 7th Lok Sabhas, representing Jaipur Parliamentary Constituency of Rajasthan during 1977 to 1984. He was a sitting member of Rajya Sabha. Earlier, Sri Agarwal was a member of Rajasthan Legislative Assembly during 1957 to 1972. An active social and political worker and an eminent parliamentarian, Sri Agarwal served as Union Minister of State for Finance during 1977 to 1979. He was a member of Public Accounts Committee in 1980-81 and later served as its chairman during 1981 to 1983. A widely travelled person, Sri Agarwal was a member of Indian delegation to the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Conference at Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in 1971, and Colombo Plant Conference held in Kathmandu in 1977, Washington in 1978, London in 1979. He was a member of the Indian delegation to Geneva in 1984 and also participated in various other international conferences. Sri Satish Agarwal passed away on the 10th of September 1997 at Jaipur, Rajasthan, at the age of 69 years. Pandit Jawala Prasad Jyotisi was a member of 2nd and the 3rd Lok Sabhas, representing Sagar Parliamentary Constituency of Madhya Pradesh during 1957 to 1967. Earlier, he was a member of Madhya Pradesh Vidhan Sabha during 1952 to 1957. An able parliamentarian, Pandit Jawala Prasad Jyotisi, was a member of Public Accounts Committee, Committee on Petitions, Committee on Subordinate Legislation, and other consultative committees. A veteran freedom fighter, he joined the civil disobedience movement in 1930-31, while he was still a student. He also participated in Quit India movement in 1942 and suffered imprisonment. A man of letters, he wrote several articles on social, political, and literary topics. His publications include Kalrava, Panchayana, Bhagat Ram, Ajay, uh, Ajay Bharat, and he was the editor of Hindi daily Navbharat and founded the Vidya Kashir Weekly. An active social worker, he worked relentlessly for the upliftment of the downtrodden. He was the founder of Sadachar. Pravartak Samiti and worked with various social organizations for the welfare of the downtrodden. Pandit Jatisi passed away on 10th of September 1997 at Sagar, Madhya Pradesh, at the age of 88 years. Sri <coughs> Mandali Venkata Krishna Rao was a member of Second Lok Sabha representing Machili Patnam Parliamentary Constituency of Andhra Pradesh during 1957 to 62. He was elected as a member of Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly in 1972, 1978, and 1983. He served as his state as Minister of Social Welfare and Fisheries, Minister of Education and Cultural Affairs, and Minister for Cooperation. A veteran freedom fighter, Sri Rao actively participated in India's freedom movement and suffered imprisonment. An active social and political worker, Sri Rao worked hard for the upliftment of the poor. He continues, his continuous efforts for the upliftment of the poor resulted in the distribution of Punjab lands among the landless people. A man of letters, he was editor of Telugu fortnightly, Navin Andhra. Sri Rao passed away on 27 September 1997 at Hyderabad at the age of 70 years. Sri Peter G. Marbanyan was a member of the 9th and the 10th Lok Sabhas, representing Shillong Parliamentary Constituency of Meghalaya during 1989 to 1996. He was a member of the present Meghalaya Legislative Assembly and Minister of Social Welfare in the state. Earlier, also, he had been a member of the Meghalaya Legislative Assemblies, Assembly during 1972 to 83 and 1988 to 89. 
his outstanding performance as a minister in Meghalaya during 1975 to 83 earned him reputation as an able administrator. He adorned, adorned the office of Speaker, Meghalaya Legislative Assembly with distinction during 1988 to 89 when I was the Chief Minister of the State. An able parliamentarian, C. Marbanyang served on the panel of chairman of Lok Sabha and demonstrated, demonstrated his legal acumen and knowledge of rules and regulations with significant impact. He was a member of several parliamentary committees, including the Public Accounts Committee, Committee on Public Undertakings, Committee on Transport and Tourism, Business Advisory Committee, and General Purposes Committee. A widely traveled person, Simarbanyang went to Canberra as a member of the Indian Parliamentary Delegation to Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference held there in 1988. With his broad worldview and vision, he was a nationalist to the core. Sir Peter G. Marbanyang passed away on 29 September at nine, in 1997 at Shillong at the age of 20, 58 years. I had the privilege of having him as my teacher, and his demise has been a personal loss to me. Sri Hardwari Lal was a member of 8 Lok Sabha representing Rotak parliamentary constituency of Haryana during 1984 to 89. Earlier, he was a member of Punjab and Haryana legislative assemblies in 1962 to 1977. He served as Minister of Education and Planning in the state of Haryana in 1967. An able parliamentarian, Sri Lal worked as the chairman of flood advisory committees, Haryana, during 77, 78, and as a member of the Standing Committee of Associations of Indian Universities in 1982. An active social and political worker, Sri Lal, was a well-known educationist who worked hard for spread of education. He served as Vice Chancellor of Kurusestra University and Maharishi Dayanand University. A man of letters, he was editor of Punjab Sentinel, weekly during 1965-66. He published many books, some of them were A Chief Minister Runs Amok, 555 Days in Jail, and Myth of Law or Parliamentary Privileges. A widely traveled person, Sri Lal was a member of the Council of Association of Commonwealth Universities in 1982. 1982. Sri Hardwari Lal Prasad passed away on 21st October 1997 at Chandigarh at the age of 87 years. We deeply mourn of these friends and I'm sure that the House will join me in conveying our condolences to the bereaved families. As the honorable members are aware that about 30 school children met with untimely death and about 70 were injured when a school bus carrying them fell into the Jamuna at Wajirabad in North Delhi on 18th of November, 1997. We deeply mourned this tragedy. The House may now stand in silence for a short while as a mark of respect to the memory of the departed souls. Thank you. I am also to inform the House that Mr. Chitta Bashu, during his lifetime, on a couple of occasions, told me personally that he, if he ever dies, like He would not like the house to adjourn. On the other hand, his soul would be very happy if the parliament works more. This was confirmed to me in writing by the forward block.
Party under the signature of Honorable Member Amarai Pradhan. I place this letter before the meeting of the, parliament, uh, of the political parties yesterday. And we discussed, and the political parties deeply appreciated his desire. But since today, we are mourning the death of not only Mr. Chittabashu, but also many other members, including a great personality like Mother Teresa, and in the way Mr. Somu had to meet a tragic death, the political parties yesterday decided that House should adjourn as a mark of respect to all the departed souls.